Today is Halloween, and Souls RNG has been hosting a contest for aura creators to make Halloween auras. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the winners and the best auras from the competition to get an idea of what we're going to see in the Souls RNG Halloween update. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's not waste any more time though. We're gonna hop right into their Discord server and start taking a look at some of these Halloween auras. There were some rules to this competition. It had to be, of course, related to Halloween in some type of way. And I believe there were a few other rules as well. I'm not sure. Here we go. Requirements. Or it must be newly made and original, which means no pre-existing creations. Or it can be standalone or, or mutation. It must be Halloween themed. But yeah, it was pretty simple requirements. And we're going to be scrolling through. And holy crap, some of these are crazy. But let's just start by taking a look at the first one here. We've got Graveyard. Interesting. Obviously, a good concept, especially for something like Halloween. It looks like there is the undead trying to chain your avatar into the grave. But it'd be cool if there were some graves. I feel like if you have the name Graveyard, you should probably have some graves somewhere in the aura. By the way, guys, by the end of this video, make sure you let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. And uh, maybe it will be one of the ones that wins. Next up, we've got, jeez, Apostles Veil. So this is a mutation to the already Apostles, except it has obviously been made into a Halloween form. Uh, we've got the green on the right. I'm not too sure what the green is, but on the left, we've got a pumpkin. That's definitely Halloween themed. Uh, <laughs> so that's cool. It is limited 2024 Halloween. Looks good. I like the, um, the I believe these are witches brooms that kind of fly around the character. That is pretty neat. And then here we go. We've got Harvester. I feel like I have seen this one before. But it has just gotten better and better since then. Look at this, bro. You're holding a giant sickle. You're like holding two dead bodies from you. I don't, you've got like some sort of like spirit chain holding them up. And then you've got lanterns flying around. Very Halloween-y. Definitely get a Halloween vibe from this. I love the text as well. Uh, the purple and red constant switching. Definitely looks very nice. All right. Manor v4 final one in 120 million holy crap one in 120 million i like the concept i think it's a little lackluster though i think it should be bigger it definitely seems way too small I feel like this should be like a giant castle that'd be such a cool aura hopefully there are some other ones that people made of like a haunted house i feel like a haunted house implemented into your character model would look pretty good but yeah no i like the concept of this i just think the vfx could do some work and also the model if it was a bit bigger i like the uh, added touch of the i believe these are at least not windows and i believe they're just upside down uh crosses which is uh a symbol of the devil i believe at least that's what i learned from uh, a horror movie i saw <laughs> i'm not sure if that can be counted as logic though next up Necromancer. Fire, fire concept. Looks decent. To be honest, to be completely honest, I'm not even too sure what a, a, necro, a, nec, a necromancer is. Uh, But if this is related and similar to what it actually is, then cool. I feel like it's someone who can summon an uh, undead. I feel like that sounds right. And if that is what this is, I don't really get how this shows it. Uh, it is green. Which kind of like a zombie color, but, you know, I don't really know if it's showing it too well. All right, what do we got here? Wow, this is a full thing. Okay, Grim Reaper. All right, we've got a music with it, and then it's even got a cutscene, bro. This is well thought out. I have a feeling this one's going to be very good, but let's take a look. Here we go. Grim Reaper. Only one person made it. Ooh. Okay. This is clean. I like the moon. And then we've got the big, big scythe on your avatar. Yeah, no, this one definitely looks nice. The lanterns as well. What's the deal with lanterns all being in these Halloween auras? Spectre. I like the name of this one. Desired rarity under 1 million request exclusive. All right. 
Dude. Dude, this is clean. Nah, this this would be perfect. This would be perfect for like a quest exclusive. Because it's not, you know, like over the top, like super, super well done. Or, well, it is super well done. Sorry, it's not super like vfx -y, if that makes any sense. But it's it's simple. Not a lot of VFX, but it is very well done. It looks clean, looks crisp. Got the scythe. We've got the little like ghost faces that are coming up out of the ground. I'm not and yeah, look at these. You got little ghosts flying around you as well. Spectre is like a ghost, I believe. So that definitely fits in a whole leak crap. One in 250 million nightmare sky. Jesus, bro. Wow. Uh, this is probably the favorite one I've seen today. Sheesh, man. Yeah, I definitely want to see this one get added. This is, this is my favorite that we've seen added today. Dude, even the, the tiny touch of having the bats go by the moon and stuff. That is just precise, bro. That looks great. Definitely my favorite one that we've seen so far. What do we got here? Ghost. One in four thousand. Hey, this it's gotta it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. It can't be rare because it's so simple. But I mean, come on, a ghost. It's like the most classic Halloween thingy. Got gotta be done, bro. Gotta be done. The wand. What do we got here? Oh, it's a biome exclusive. Biome corruption. Okay, interesting. Uh, one in two hundred thirty thousand. I mean, it's simple. But it's not like it should be super advanced. I don't know about 230,000. If this was like a 1 in like 5,000, 1 in 7,000, I think it'd be fine. You know, you've got the wand, you're holding a skull, got the witch's hat. I think everything looks good there. All right, what do we got here? Confined. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I don't know. What does this have to do with Halloween? I guess maybe just the whole idea of it being trapped <laughs> is a little spooky and a little scary. Um... Looks all right. Uh, I don't, I don't like this black smoke at the top. It feels a little excessive, but nonetheless, it looks good. So good job on that. What do we got here? Undead. It's zombie. It's a mutation of undead. All right. So a new mutation of undead. We already have a few, but now we're going to have a zombie mutation. How does this look? Okay. All right. Simple, simple, but it doesn't need to be done over the top. You know what I mean? It's just a zombie thing. I don't know, uh, what this... Oh, is it, like, maybe... I, I couldn't tell. Maybe it's, like, sucking its life force out? Like, the VFX coming off the back? See, I can't really be, you know, uh, criticizing these. Because I know if I ever tried, it would be nowhere near the level of some of these. So, <laughs> I can't really be critiquing. But I'm trying my best. You guys let me know in the comments your opinions about the auras that we are seeing today. All right, Archmage, one in, I can't really read the text. You've got a few books and then a bunch of purple stuff. Okay, all right, get the idea. Ooh, hello, juxtaposition. Am I pronouncing that correct? This looks sick. Um, I have no idea what this has to do with Halloween. Zero idea, but this looks fire. Does it have to do with Halloween? Because we've got like a haunted house in the back. <laughs> this looks nice. I would absolutely love to see something like that added. Holy crap. Undead Tyrant V2. One in 166. One in 666666666. This is inside of Hellbiome. Halloween exclusive. Wow. This looks... These pillars. This reminds me a lot like Ruins. This looks so much like Ruins. The color in and the pillars, but obviously it's not ruins. This looks awesome, bro. I love the look of this one. Not as much as that purple one we saw earlier, but uh, still definitely a good looking aura. That's for sure. All right. Next up, Sorcerer. One in 18 and a half million. We just saw one just like this, actually. Same concept. And I think I like this one a bit better. I think it looks a little bit more cleaned up, a little bit more polished, but I also don't think it should be one in 18 and a half million. This is definitely like an ore that definitely could be added. It's got the level of, you know, like cleanness to it, but I'd say it's probably more like a one in two, three million. I, I feel like would fit it a bit more. 
All right, well, whoa, what do we got here? Eldritch, one in, jeez. One in five, five, five million. Um, will not be affected in, outside, biome, or in, that mean you can't use heavenly potions for this? I'm a little confused by this message, but it's a one in 25 million uh, when you get it in null. And this is what it looks like. Eldritch. Okay. It'd be nice if we got rid of the pea shooter in the background. <laughs> uh, and make it a little bit easier to see what's going on here. But all right. I like this. I like the, the triple sword. Uh, once again, I don't know really how it relates to Halloween. There's probably a bunch of Halloween stuff. I just don't know, though. Like, maybe Eldridge is a popular Halloween character. And he uses knives or something. And I just am not sure. But, nonetheless, it looks good. I like, I like the, uh, I definitely like the swords. I like the, uh, the rocks floating around as well. It's kind of like, uh, the gravitational rocks. Actually, it looks exactly like the gravitational rocks. And then you've got, like, a pressing sort of style thing at the bottom here. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It looks nice. I don't know if it should be a one in five, five, five million though, but nonetheless, definitely looks good. All right, Paranormica. Uh, para Paranormica. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Hopefully, it is a one in four million. Oh, this looks sick. <laughs> this looks so cool. You're you're be you're being you're like getting you're launching out of a television. This reminds me of a. Jumanga, Jumanga, if you guys have ever seen that. <laughs> they were playing a game and then they got sucked into the game. This totally reminds me of that and I, I love this. This would be a perfect like like lower rarity type aura um, for the Halloween update. That looks great. Holy crap, Fallen Reaper. Oh my goodness. Uh, I did say the purple one was my favorite so far. Uh, this one might have just taken it. This is massive. This is ginormous. Dude, I love, I love this in the back. Two pillars, you're chained to the pillars. Only one win instead of two. You're holding, you're holding a giant, like, scythe type weapon in your other hand. This is so cool. Like, actually, brother. That is actually so cool. God, now now I can't pick. And now I don't know if I like the purple one or Fallen Reaper better. Hey, you guys are gonna have to let me know your favorite in the comments because I cannot decide right now. We're gonna look at a few more. And guys, once the winners of this competition are decided, I will make another video just going over the final winners. So we take a look at the greatest auras from this competition. But let's look at these last few here. Oh my god. We're actually popping off on these last ones. Crypt Fire Halloween Special 225 million. This is so cool. This looks so clean. Like, this looks polished. Very, very polished. I love the look of this. I actually do, dude. This one looks sick. All right. And last one right here Red Mist. Let's take a look. Okay. Remind, dude, this gives me flashbacks to Aquatic Flame. And I hate that aura. This is giving me aquatic plane flashbacks, but nonetheless, the aura does look good. Okay, so I don't know. For me, this one, this one right here, or this one are my favorites. I don't know if I can pick my act actual favorite. If you guys have a preference, let me know in the comments out of all the ones we saw today. But uh, yeah, those are definitely some great looking auras, and hopefully we see some of them added. For this Halloween update. Guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for today's video. I do appreciate you all watching until the end. Like I said, let me know in the comments which was your favorite out of all the ones we saw today. We'll have another video coming soon. If you guys have any video suggestions, let me know in the comments. Okay. Natural sandstorm. Would have wished for this when I used my heavenlies. But yeah, that is going to do it for today. Appreciate you all watching until the end. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.